What's going on, everybody? You have now tuned in to my Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion recap. Guys, let me tell you, my allergies have been kicking my boots. Hey, okay? And I was going to go to sleep, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to stay dedicated. I only got two more of these reunions to go this week and next week, and then we're pretty much done. So I'm going to try to stick with it because I told you I was going to do it, you know? But I don't know why they had to have four, but at least this was a good episode. The last one, I could have did without. All right, so let's do shout-outs real quick. Shout-out to Holy Yugalade. Um, she was like, I don't know, but I love Portia. Okay, girl, you go ahead and love you some Portia. I mean, I love me some Portia's hair. <laughs> I, I can't even lie. Y'all that have me on my other channel, my Some More Love TV channel, y'all already know, like, I am a hair fanatic. But as far as her attitude, I don't know. I feel like she just changed. Like, maybe back when her holy days, when she was still with, what's his name, Mr. Stewart or whatever, Maybe I used to like her a little bit more, but these days, I don't know. Like, she she be acting a little too funny style. And Marsha Albertson, hey, girl, you always watching and supporting. Shout out to you for that. Um, I think Kenya is a little messy and Phaedra is a fake and a fraud. Exactly, girl. Like, I feel exactly the same way. So let's go ahead and see what my notes are. Let's get into that. I have them over there today, so you're going to see me looking back and forth. So the fellas, they was now on the show. They had them, you know, like how they have them normally behind the couch. Bob, he actually looked pretty handsome. I was like, okay, Bob, I see you. But your attitude would not make me want to, still don't make me want to like you or whatever. But you was looking pretty good. I see you done got a nice little beard going on. You know, I got a thing for men with beards, but not him. But yeah, he was looking pretty good. Um, he gave some like BS wannabe apology, but it didn't seem, it just seemed like he was more so embarrassed. Um, he kind of acted like, I can't believe I did this. No, because you forgot the cameras was there. You was being unfiltered. And now you're remorseful basically because you're being attacked on the internet. That's why you're remorseful. Maybe people in real life as well are just like, yo, they're disgusted by you. And you probably lost a lot of things that you could have had. Maybe deals. He lost his spot in the show from what I read. I mean, I don't know how true that is. But yeah, he lost. A, he most likely lost a lot that he was starting to build back up that he was getting through being associated with Sheree. But now he done burnt that bridge, you know? It's on fire. You know, it's, I see it. You know, that's pretty much what's going on with him. So they asked Sheree if she was, like, open to possibly being with him again. And she was pretty much like, that door is closed. But I don't know. She didn't seem too confident when she gave that decision when she kind of said it she made that statement I felt like it could have been real stronger like it seemed like she was still contemplating it but she kind of feels like I feel like if he was to show improvement she probably would still try to work it out with him which I don't know like how many chances can you give somebody you know what I mean like you just keep giving him that torch like you know here you go just burn me a little more and yeah like you know what I mean like I don't it's not healthy <clears throat> okay, so Peter, he says that he actually speaks to Noel, which is Cynthia's daughter, more than he speaks to Cynthia. I guess he's trying to imply that they really don't have the best relationship right now. He still loves Cynthia, and he he admitted that part of the reason, because she kind of said it, she's like, she wasn't a good wife, she wasn't good at being married, and she's not good with handling stress. I think is for her, <clears throat> from the way she was saying it, and also, too, because of the way he was, you know, he had a lot of flaws that we saw. He gets really angry, you know, and marriage is really a compromise. I think she's so used to being a boss chick, you know, doing her own thing and having her business and this and that, that it was probably hard for her to kind of, like, compromise and see things falling apart and being headlines and all these things going on with her, she's probably like, I don't need this. Like, I can do it by myself. And that's probably why right now she's at the point where she just, she said she doesn't even want to get married again. So I guess she just wants to kind of play the field, you know, and do the, play the dating game. So um, they did ask about Block and if he's being more consistent with Riley. Supposedly he is, which is good. You know, it only took him a million years to do what was right and kind of lie about it on several occasions. But 
Yeah, I mean, at least that's good that she's going to get that experience to have her father around her while she's still around. And hopefully, you know, he's a good, he's, he's a good influence on her, you know? Uh, so Portia, she said that her Todd, he wasn't there because I guess they're having issues or whatever. He did get a job in Washington, D.C., which I'm like, damn, well, that means he's going to have to travel real far. Like, she definitely, you can tell she don't want no broke, you know, she don't want no broke dude, for real. I guess he doesn't have to necessarily make as much as she does, but he got to make some. Like, she ain't trying to hold nobody's weight. I'm like, okay. I guess she's so used to, because remember, before, she was getting taken care of by Mr. Stewart. And now she had to like go out there and do her own thing. I think she's still comfortable with doing her own thing, but she wants the man to also be doing his own thing as well. I mean, homeboy dad was like, he gave up his job for her and she got upset about it. I thought that was so kind of messed up, you know, like I gave up my job, my career, my money because they said it's either you or the job and you're upset. Like what? <laughs> How does that work? Maybe she was just mad that he was just, because it's pretty much not necessarily you have to give up her, but it's you have to give up that lifestyle, being in the limelight, and maybe that's what she kind of was upset about, that he chose being in the limelight and being on her Instagram and all those things as opposed to doing his job and being like in the background, not really being on TV. So yeah, funny enough, Peter, he was like upset about, he was like making mad little like side comments and stuff like that whenever Portia was talking about her in the Todd situation. And Peter, he calls out Phaedra um, for, I guess, telling Portia that she needs to have a man and be married. That's what, that's what Phaedra had told her before. And he was like, but what about you? You're not married. And she was like, well, I was. And he was like, yeah, but it's not. He was like, it ain't always perfect. So he was pretty much calling her out on her BS. And she ain't have nothing to say. Because at the end of the day, it's true. And didn't I tell you guys, I think I said that. Or maybe I said that in my head. Because I don't think I did a review for that particular episode. But I remember when I was watching it, I definitely was saying that. Like, oh, no, I think I said it on, like, Snapchat or something. Because I'll be doing Snapchat reviews while I'm watching sometimes and I was just kind of like how you telling somebody that they have to be married they have to do it this way but you're not even married anymore at the end of the day if you were so committed to being married and not being a single mother then you would have stayed with Apollo and made it work regardless of whatever it was that he had done but obviously this is the modern age this is now and you're not going to stand for certain things and maybe Portia doesn't want to stand for certain things. So, like, how you going to tell her how to live her life, you know? All right. So, following that, let's see what happened. So, Shamia then came on the stage. And Sheree, she had made a good point. Because they were saying how she was, like, messy. And she was the bone carrier and all these things. And she had said, these things are going to be on TV. And she's sitting with a lot of these people that are talking about her other friends. And she cares about them all. So she doesn't want to be sitting there with somebody. They talking bad about somebody. And then when it airs on TV, they're going to come to her like pretty much like stuff that, that Portia was doing. Like, why was you sitting there like that was OK, laughing and kikiing with her and you never mentioned it to me? And that's absolutely true, because I know I would feel some type of way if my bestie is sitting there with somebody. The person's talking, talking bad about me. And then you just sitting there like, hmm. Yeah, girl. Like, what? Like, you're not my real friend. You're not defending me. You're not saying nothing. You're not even saying, oh, I'm not going to talk about that or anything. Like, you know, even if you don't want to, like, engage or whatever, at least, or you don't want to, like, come back at the person because the person that you is close, at least be like, oh, I don't want to talk about that or something like that. You know, that shows at least you have some respect for that friend of yours. So yeah, Portia was trying to apologize to Shamia, like, you know, because of all the things that she said about her. And um, it was funny because Kenya kind of messed up her apology. So she got pissed off about it, started cursing. So Kenya, of course, she's going to put her anger management on blast. Like, I don't think your anger management is working. She's like, yeah, shut the F up. Like, she was going in. I was like, Portia, what are you doing? This is not the hairstyle for that. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, yeah, so she was, and, and Kenya, you know, she, she'll she come right back at you. She was just like, I'm not going to sit here and let nobody tell me to shut the F up. Like, I'll get off the stage before that's going to happen. So she was like, you got the wrong one for that. Don't even. But Andy tried to calm them down like, you know, Kenya, she kind of was talking. So what happened after that? Oh, they talked about the fact that they were saying that Candy and Shamia was close, you know, close and all that. And how Portia never really said anything. She kind of was like, yeah, they was close, like kind of like confirming it. She tried to like play it down and say she didn't mean it like that or, you know, whatever. And Candy's like, you know, come on. Like you're you were pretty much confirming what it was that Phaedra was saying. Uh, so next they got into some juicy lesbianism talk, right? So you remember that, that scene where they showed that Candy was like real upset and everything when they was on their little trip, their little vacation. And she was like, it took everything out of me not to choke the lights out of you or whatever it was that she said, you know, I was just like, yo, if that was me, I'd have did some some candy lion slash sky move. I would have straight knocked everything off the table because I, I would have wanted to hit somebody so bad, especially being in that type of emotion. I'd have knocked everything off the table. Like they would have had to just charge me for that because I would have had to been paying out of pocket because, you know, when you, you got to let that rage out some way. And the, the, the point to that of fury and rage that she got into I was surprised that she was able to like just kind of leave there I think it was the grace of goodness that Todd was there to kind of help her out you know and kind of get her back to a calmer place uh, so she was saying something Candy checked Portia because she was like yo you like to throw shade but then you don't like to you don't like when it comes towards you that's when you want to make a big deal about it like that's not the way you're supposed to be doing this and boy oh boy honey child Phaedra was getting checked left and right I mean Andy asked why did she put the little fingers thing when she was talking about how Shamia and Candy were real close you know and she looked like she was speechless, like she didn't even know what today, what to say. She was just kind of like, because they were. And Shamia was like, yeah, but you and her were real close too. Were you guys doing that? She was like, and then Candy, I think, was like, and you and, Faye, you and Portia are real close. What are you guys doing? You know, and she just kind of sat there with the, with the, putting her lips up. You know how they just do. You know, the stink, the stink fist, looking like they smell something bad real quick. Like... <laughs> and I'm just like, Phaedra, you just need not talk about people. If you can't, like, back up your words, just just stop it. Like, Phaedra likes to throw a lot of stuff out there, say a lot of things, but she don't want to be getting called out on it. She think, like, hello, you're on TV. Like, you're trying to be funny, but at the end of the day, people are going to call you out on whatever it is that you say because they're going to watch it. <clears throat> and Todd was like, to... To Porsche, no, he said to Phaedra that how they talk about the streets is watching and this and that. He was like, at the end of the day, there's a lot of stuff that he could put out about her, but he tries not to do that. But then he throws a little shade when he was like, you know, because the feds are still watching. I was like, ooh, he's slipping, a little, he's shedding a little bit of juice right now. <laughs> you know, Todd is like funny though. So yeah, Todd, he said that. There was like several kisses that occurred the night with Portia and he was like that there was a preposition. She asked if they would come back to her room, to her hotel room so she can, you know, lick the kitty and do whatever she wanted to do. I mean, perhaps she was intoxicated and once again, she's denying it, even though she kind of got blasted out when Candy brought the receipts, you know what I mean? And... She was just kind of trying to like kind of deflect from it and say, oh, no, it wasn't like that. Oh, I wouldn't even want to do that. I could smell it from far. Like she was really being disrespectful just because I guess she was embarrassed and she didn't really want to like let this stuff be known, especially to, to kind of admit it again on the reunion on TV. 
But I, I just feel like she handles these situations so backwards. Like one minute she said love is love. She loves all lesbians and things like this. And she's had her experiences. And the next minute she's like going in about the situation because it seems like she's embarrassed. I got something in my eye, y'all. My eyes are like swollen from the allergies. It's like crazy, y'all. I got to go wash out my eyes. So, um, yeah, she was just kind of acting like, like, no, that never happened. Um, and then Andy, he, one of the final things that happened was Andy asked Portia why she thought that they would try to drug her. And she comes up with something about, well, she's a journalist. And everybody look at her like a journalist, like for real. She was like, no, what I do, um, don't try to downplay my job. I do get um, news and things like that for my for my talk show that I have. I've seen the talk show. I mean, pretty much it's the same thing if we were saying like, okay, like what I used to do on my old channel before I created this one, my second channel that I had before it got shut down, long story anyway. But yeah, with that channel, I pretty much used to do journalism because I would get story headlines, do a whole bunch of research. It was a lot of work. Um, do a lot of research, compile stories, and then, you know, kind of give them to the viewers. So that's kind of what it is that she does. I mean, it is, this, in a sense, journalism. So I get what she's saying, but it's not journalism per se. Um, well, I mean, I guess it depends on how you really want to describe it or whatever, what category you want to put it into, whatever. Anyway, so then she says that she got a cease and desist order. So she's not able to talk about it anymore. She got one from um, from Candy, I guess. So she was like, she's going to let Phaedra talk on her behalf because Phaedra was the one that told her that they were the ones who said it. Now, everybody just looked shocked. And Portia, honey, um, Phaedra was looking like, oh my gosh, I can't believe she just said that. Like, we were supposed to have that little chat to ourselves. You weren't supposed to say that all here on the reunion. You're supposed to keep that to yourselves and just kind of take the heat, not put the heat over here on me. Like, it's, it, poor Phaedra, I'm, I'm getting these names mixed up, y'all. Uh, that's how you know I'm tired. Um, so, yeah, Phaedra, she does a whole lot of crippity crap, okay? That's what she does. And then she tries to, like, I feel like this is a toxic relationship and it's kind of one-sided and I feel like, like a lot of people have said, Phaedra tries to put things in Portia's ear and because she thinks that Portia's like dumb and a dodo, as she said on numerous occasions, especially back when she first met her, she tries to tell her these little things, put it in her ear and knows that she's going to like put it out there and just kind of take the heat for it. But not this time, honey. It looks like things are about to really go down on the next one because a lot of darkness is about to come out into the light, you know? And a lot of them, they be doing stuff and they kind of don't like it being talked about or whatever. Kind of like how when Candy called Portia out, it was like, you know, how you going to say that I'm a lesbian or I'm this or I'm that when you do the same thing? Exactly. But yeah, that's pretty much my um, recap of this show. Kind of just talking about it. My throat is killing me, so I'm about to get off right now. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one.